Hi guys, Ryu here with another vid for Blender. In this one, I'm going to talk about QuickShot, which is a fantastic little add on for creating very quick animations with ease. QuickShot was written by Chip Walters, which is the same guy who wrote Keytops and definitely EV Materials and tons of other stuff. So I suggest you hop on his YouTube channel and have a look, and also visit the store in Gamble to Blender Market. Links in the video description as usual. The more I look into it, the more I realize that Kidups, definitely EV materials and QuickShot for EV and rendering is exactly the same as Hardops and machine add-ons for hard surface, although you can use Kidups for hard surface because of insert materials. But you know, we do we, we do texture up my models at the end after they're finished, so it's more of rendering stuff. It's just brilliant. This this system is insanely fast. This is an old scene of mine which I created um, maybe ten years, uh, ten months ago, and it was just you know like two or three months after I started 3D. So I wasn't really you know very knowledgeable then. I'm not saying I'm not knowledgeable now, but I wasn't much less knowledgeable then. And this was rendered in cycles, and I struggled. I remember I struggled because cycles, you know, they don't really respond very well. I mean, you you can't. Um, lit a scene with HDRI, which is basically blocked with walls, and there are you know, walls from every single direction, bottom, sides, and the top. The only part that's open is the front. I had some difficulties with lights, so I had to, you know, play with emissions and, and other, you know, uh, solutions, but it wasn't ideal. So you can see that the shadows are a bit, bit bleak and a bit kind of washed out, and I did edit in Photoshop and, uh, you know, try to fix it, but not ideal. So I thought, how about I'm gonna grab this system, the differently even material system, and texture this thing and see how long it's gonna take me. Now this scene is really heavy, okay? This scene was like uh, about 19 or 18 million uh, trees, and it's a lot of objects you can see here on the bottom, 1.5k objects, it's a lot. And it took me one hour to texture the whole thing, right? So this should tell you how fast that is. Now you've seen the the very quick video at the beginning of this uh, um, this clip at the beginning of this video, and you've seen the uh, you know the renders, so you know how good this thing uh, this thing looks in EV, and it, it, I'm just you know I'm amazed with what you can do with EV. It's just bloody incredible, especially with volumetrics and kind of like you know gloomy scenes with a lot of bloom and lights. It just looks bloody incredible. It needs a bit of fiddling, but once you know what you're doing, it's just bloody insane. So now, in you know, on top of all this, you can actually add animations to your scene, and you can do this with ease with QuickShot. So now, what QuickShot does is just a bloody brilliant this add-on. So what it does, it adds cameras to uh, to your scene, and uh, assigns keyframes to them, and actually assigns a path on which the camera travels. So you don't have to worry about anything, and you don't have to redesign, you know, uh, delete keyframes, add new keyframes, you don't have to do fucking anything. You just click and you're done. And let me show you. This is so cool. So we're going to, you know, um, let's let's grab a shot from the top. In fact, let's go to, uh, let's go to EV so we can see better what we're doing, because I need to see the lights. Otherwise, it just, you know, it's a mess. So, you know, let's 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 grab a shot like an establishing shot somewhere here. I don't know, somewhere here and add shot. So, um we're going to click on add shot and by the way, you access quick shot from the end panel. So, if you press N on the keyboard once you install the add-on, of course, uh you're going to have this little panel here. So, now once we decide where we want to start our, you know, camera uh once we once we establish you know the starting point of the camera all you need to do right is click on control click on in and this will add a camera to your timeline and also a camera in here i'm gonna actually lock this camera to view unless it's already locked oh come on now let's press control zero there we go and lock camera to view it's locked good so let's click on this head of the mac and move our camera somewhere here we're gonna do like a quick pan okay like a quick aggressive pan down something like this all right in fact we can just you know go a little bit more aggressively in here something like that all right maybe from the bottom it's gonna look more more aggressive and then you press Control click on out and this will add um, 
a bit, you know, one one part of your animation. So an entry point and an exit point, so start and stop for the camera. And you don't have to do anything. Okay, that's it, you're done. You can change, of course, the depth of field, you can change, uh, you know, uh, resolution of the camera or, or, and, and so on. And you can also change the motion. If you wanted this camera to start and stop uh, more rapidly, okay, without this kind of like a um, slow start and slow end, you simply change it from this point to linear motion, right? You can adjust the number of frames. You can make it, for example, twice as slow. So if you want to put 200 frames, it's going to be much slower, right? Now, if you want to add another camera, let's go back to 100 frames because it's just this one's a bit too slow. If you want to add another camera, right, it just couldn't be any easier. All you do is simply press on out, so it's going to jump to the um, to the position of the uh, of the um, of the first camera when it ends, right? The movement when the, when the movement ends, and all you do is simply add a shot. This will add another camera, and if you control click on in in the same spot, it will simply um, assign the same, uh, it, it will assign keyframes in the same spot where the second camera movement ends. So now I can, for example, you know, zoom out a little bit, okay, just a little bit, and you can see that this is the first camera, and now we are controlling the second camera. So let's click on this max head and just drop it down a bit somewhere here and a little bit further away, something like this, and control click on out, okay. Then we're going to go to the last position, all right, and we're going to add shot, all right, and then we're going to click, control click on in, and we're going to zoom out and do something like this, right? okay, and out. Now, let's go back to the first camera, right, so... Let's roll back to the first frame and let's play play and see what happens. By the way, let's change the uh, behavior of these cameras here a little bit. And do this again. So now what happens is that when the camera, you know, the first camera ends movement is going to jump automatically to the second camera because the overlap, the position is overlapping, right? The settings are the same. But you can adjust settings for each camera individually if you want to. Now you can change the number of frames for each of these camera anytime you want, and the other two gonna get adjusted. So for example, if I inserted 200 frames in here, right, or like 140, the third camera's starting position is gonna move 40 frames ahead, so further down the you know down the road, right? You can move these cameras about, so you can move the last one to the top, right, if you want to, okay? It's incredible. So that's basically the most important stuff that you need to know about uh, QuickShot. And, you know, in addition to all this, there is a, there is a possibility of actually copying drivers uh, and adding rotation to certain um, uh, to certain um, you know pieces of geometry on object if you want to but that's a bit more advanced but you can always go to inf you know click on docs it's going to bring you to a website which explains everything or you can just jump on chip walter's channel and just watch his videos and uh, they cover this you know quite extensively but this thing is off the charts guys it's, it's just bloody brilliant anyway now the smoke thing right <laughs> Because this is another thing I want to show you. So let's just, uh, you know, cancel this thing here, okay? Let's go back to solid view because it's a little bit faster. Uh, let's just stop this animation for a second and clear all. This is going to remove all the cameras. I want to go down here and actually um, drop a camera somewhere here. So add shot and control in. And move outside here and control out and go back to Eevee and I want to show you um, Ian's Hubert smoke inserts for Kitops in action or watch this these are just planes okay animated smoked and it's, it's just amazing I mean look at this shit 
you just drop planes with kid ups and you're done with swimming. Look, look at this, it's just bloody brilliant. So, they were designed by uh, by Ian Hubert, who is basically a um, um, SFX, um, SFX artist, and he's this guy's you know, this guy's something else. I mean, if you look at his art, he's pretty intimidating. This stuff, yeah. So, enough said. I mean, look at this, this shit's insane. It actually looks a bit like Tokyo. Anyway, so if you want to grab these inserts, they are uh, they on uh, I think they're on cheap stores as well, so you can just grab them there. And the way you use them is extremely easy. You just go to Kitops and you know they're under inserts. So you just click and it drops in your scene, and they just basically planes. It's nothing else, just planes. Oh, this is a smoke, right? So you just move them about wherever you want. You can resize them. And Bob's your uncle, and they're all node based, so you can adjust stuff over there as well. So anyway, um, that's we basically it. So you know you need. So I highly recommend Kidops, definitely EV Materials, Quickshot, and Inserts. There are also it says brilliant uh, insert pack, and it's free actually from Master Z on 1001. Um, so the creator of Cardops, and these inserts are really good. I actually have them running on this Mac, and there are. Um, I use them quite a lot. Um, I I think I have them turned off. Oh, there you go. There's one of them. So you know. The ready-made inserts for um, a lot of screws and bolts and whatnot. So you know you, you can very quickly add them to your scene. You don't have to create them, which is which is bloody bloody brilliant. So I've been chatting with Chip Walters recently quite a lot, and he explained me a lot of things about EV. And uh, you know this guy is so patient; it's just unbelievable and um, uh, extremely nice guy and very knowledgeable too. So you know he has extremely um, extreme experience in, in design and and vast knowledge on the subject so very interesting very interesting uh, discussions we had and uh, Eevee I'm getting more and more into Eevee and I can tell you that uh, the ease with which I was able to create this scene actually surprised me because I didn't know it's gonna be that easy it was actually as easy as adding materials uh, with hard ups you know and that the system from Hardops is so bloody easy, just Alt M and you add material, you're done. You can uh, you know add glass with with shift click or, or alt click, add some emission and you're done. This is exactly you know um, as easy as hardups. The only thing is that the textures are a bit more um, a bit more refined because you got you got actual textures, you know, the, the hardups uses basic BSDF mods from from Blender. And although they're all sci-fi materials and they, you know, they're really nicely designed and, and thought out um, because they're random materials, right? The the definitely even material system is just, you know, it gives you this this oomph, this depth in, in the image. And once you combine it with proper lighting and settings and some volumetrics and, you know, you've seen the renders, you've seen the movie, this shit looks fucking amazing. So I highly recommend it. So anyway, guys, have fun. Enjoy. This is it from me. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.